Firefighters are back out in Lake County now trying to contain a massive wildfire. This new fire doubled in size overnight. The Jerusalem fire now has burned 12,000 acres. There is zero containment. Mandatory evacuation orders are in place for the Jerusalem Valley area east of Spruce Road. So far, no reports of any damage or destroyed homes in that area. That fire is burning just south of the nearly 70,000 acre Rocky Fire. Today, that fire is at 88% containment. Cal Fire says several firefighters did get pulled from that fire to deal with this new one. Daniel Berlant with Cal Fire is back with us now. Well, here we go again. Just when it looked like things were getting better, you have the second one to deal with. Yeah, absolutely. We're making very good progress on the Rocky Fire. As we continue to do, 88% is pretty good. Still a lot of hot spots to put out, but obviously this new fire has really uh, taken a lot of the attention as it has grown at the same speed and intensity as the Rocky Fire. So it's interesting because the, the winds that we've been seeing, it, it's somewhat reminiscent of the situations they deal with in Southern California with the Santa Ana winds. Yeah, absolutely. These fires are burning with that same intensity. The only thing di that's different is the wind. We're not seeing those 90, eight, you know, 80, 90, 100 mile an hour winds that you would see in Santa Ana, but its conditions are so dry that they fuel these fires with that, that same intensity. All right, I'm going to throw a map back here just for a moment. Take a look at this area. Um, it, most of this area, for the most part, you're dealing with pretty rugged terrain, not a ton of people out there, but you do have these mandatory evacuation orders. Tell people yeah, about. there's uh, several, most of the homes are over here uh, right off Highway 29, lower Lake here, uh, the Hidden Valley area. Fortunately, the fire is really burning in a more south. Southeasterly direction away from the majority of these homes. That's the good news. The unfortunate part, though, is this fire continues to grow this way towards Napa County. There's a lot of vegetation in front of it that continues to burn. Again, it's good for the homeowners that live in this area. It just makes it harder for us because this is all just open land that's very, uh, very difficult to access to get right. crews in, and that's where the air resources are so critical. And this afternoon, you know, basically what you have weather-wise coming in. I guess the good news is that you do have all these crews that are freed up now from the first fire, from the Rocky Fire. I assume the plan is to get more of those people there. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Temperatures are, are cooler while the humidity is not too bad, while the winds are not extreme. It's the dry conditions that yeah. continue to fan this fire. Looking at the video we got from Live Cup 3, and you know, just looking at all that smoke that's kind of hovering over it and the kind of cloud formations that the smoke itself forms, you've been talking a lot about the weather pattern that these fires can generate, and that certainly shows you that. Yeah, and this is very reminiscent of what we just saw last week and two weeks ago with the Rocky Fire. And that's why it's so important that we ask the public to do their part preventing these type of fires, because with conditions like this and continuing over the next several months, it doesn't take much for fires like this to burn and to grow so quickly. Well, I think they're getting the message. Hopefully. <laughs> We've certainly seen it. Daniel, thank you. We do appreciate it.